this time, this this time. I'm not talking about the next day or the day before or the day after. I'm talking about right now, now, now is the time. God says it's going to take sacrifice to get to your next dimension. It's going to take sacrifice to get to where we need to get. Spirit of the living God, for fresh upon me this morning upon your people, oh God. Lord, as I open up my mouth, let the shakana glory of your son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, speak through me, oh God, like never before. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, I decree and declare this morning that this time in our lives is not going to come easy. There's going to be some testings. And we're going to have to prove it to you, oh God, that we love you and we are willing to go through the test, the battle, the struggles, the suffering because of you. God, I give you praise this morning for opening up my mouth, Holy Spirit, and speaking through it in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood. I plead the blood against every demonic spirit. I will be listening under the tone of my voice and will want to come and stop the word of God from going forth this morning. Your strategies and your plan are told to the scatter in the name of Jesus. Oh, I release the power of the Holy Ghost over my over the people of God. I release the power of the Holy Ghost over my mouth, over my being this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And so it is. Glory to God Almighty. And as I begin to fathom in my mind, God, what do you mean this time is going to take it? sacrifice? This time you're going to have to suffer. This, this time, yeah, 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 this time, right now in the book of Daniel, you know, I read the book of Daniel all the time, and I have not seen it so profound as I've seen it, as I heard it, excuse me, not seen it, but heard it, I've never seen it so profound, the Lord, the Lord prophetically speak to us differently in parts, and sometimes he speak to us in whole, in all kinds of different stuff he will do with us, but this time, I got it, I got it now, I got it, I got it for somebody, I got it for myself, and I got it for somebody that will go tell somebody else this time in your life you're gonna have to sacrifice the Bible talks about the three Hebrew boys in the book of Daniel four of them actually Shetrach, Meshach, Abednego and Bashesa yes those four they were tested in every way, form, and faction. And I, I, I tell you, you know, uh, 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 when you look back and begin to look at the lifestyle of these boys, they were just not any kind of beings. They were really, 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 really disciplined. They had wisdom. They had power. And all of that came from God. Why? Because they submitted to God. They were willing to suffer with God. And they were willing to do whatever it took in their lives so that they can reign with the master. It don't matter, folks, in this day and in this time. What you have to encounter because you are going to encounter some of the worst situations in your life and, and, and god wants to know if he can test you oh shalaba saya look at what he did with job he wants to know if your spirit mind is open up to him that you are willing to suffer with him even though they, they call you different names even though depression tried to set in sometimes even though you feel like you can't go through the fire but if you are willing to suffer with christ he said that load you are carrying and the stone that was rejected is the very stone that they're going to need to build up to build the foundation what are you saying this morning sister like your your disaster your 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 messed up life your 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 your, your wilderness your bearing time was not meant to destroy you if the three Hebrew brothers was not, the fire was not meant to destroy them. The fire was meant that when to put them in the fire, there was somebody else <coughs> that was going to meet them in the fire. The two of them into the hands of Jesus. God is telling us this morning, in order for you to reign with him, you got to suffer with him. Ah! somebody you don't understand in order for you to reign with God in that season and times to come you're gonna have to learn to suffer with him because they're going to test you you're going to go through the storms you're going to go through the battles you're going to go through all kinds of stuff but are you willing to sacrifice this time around you're gonna have to sacrifice because the Lord said what I'm getting ready to do in your life is too big what I'm getting ready to take you to is too large and I need you to understand that they are going to be times uh, and seasons in your life where you're going to see things happening. The very people you call your friends, the very family members that you told love you will let you down. What are you going to do? Oh, Shabba, Baba, Baba. 
this time you're going to have to sacrifice and say to yourself it don't matter lord what it it don't matter what 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 it will cost me it don't matter what they do to me it don't matter just like you went to the cross i will pick up my cross and i will still walk with you through through the rain and through the sunshine it don't matter lord they can put me in the fire but the fire will not consume me when they put me in the fire they're ready to put me in the hands of jesus because that's my motivation when you bring them when an enemy bring when he come against you the lord said i raise up a standard against him every time the problem comes every time the problem comes so you just know that jesus is within the problem every time the obstacle stand in your way know that jesus is in the obstacle that's why he's telling many of you today you're gonna have to sacrifice you're gonna have to learn to trust in me you're gonna have to learn to depend on me you're gonna have to learn to pick up your cross and keep it moving this is no time to sit down <laughs> this is no time to sit down beloved this is not the time and the season to sit down this is the time and the season to realize that oh my god you know the more the, it's a, when blessings go up when prices go up blessings come down the more the, the more the lord place inside of you the more it's required of you oh my good god almighty the more he places in you the more it's required of you so you got to be on your your a game this this time uh, and period in your life you got to be on your a game with the lord god almighty you got to be on your a game with jehovah adonai you got to make sure that whatever and wherever it is he sent you you go whatever it is he tells you to do you do the three hebrew boys in the book of daniel chapter seven six let's let's start from chapter six all the way up to seven and up refused to eat at the king's table oh shabbat saya you can't eat out of everybody's table <laughs> there are some tables that it may look very good but it may not be righteous there are some tables that look so fancy and so fun but it may not be the table where god wants you to sit so why because he needs to humble you that is why many times in our lives when god blesses us sometimes you will see us coming back down reason being is that he said no daughter no son you are not humbling yourself i need you to stay humble when i bless you i need you to stay humble to keep your <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to have to sacrifice. What a powerful word. This time around, you're going to have to sacrifice. Been isolated. That's right. Been by yourself. That's right. You're going to have to sacrifice what matters the most. What matters the most in your life is a gaining from God. It's a gaining wisdom for Him. You see, many times what I want to do is just use your gift. That's what they do with the people. That's what they did with the three Hebrew brothers. They wanted to use them. The giftings that God has placed in them. The prophetic gifting. The king wanted to use them. God said, No, not so. The stone that you have rejected is the very stone that I want in order to build my foundation on the earth. So you won't be able to use my, my vessel just for your own selfish gain. They refuse. They refuse, y'all. They refuse to eat of the king's table. The table that was so filled with fancy things. The table that was filled with so much food that could make you your appetite rise up. They refuse. Why? Because they said, my God, Jehovah, Adonai told us, we can eat of this table. But I want you to test us. Ten days. Some of you are going to go through some tests for more than ten days. And God's going to see if you really love him. He's going to see if you're really, really in tune with him. He, he's going to he's gonna put you on some tests. And you will, you will think it's the devil testing you. But it's not the devil. It's not the devil. It's the Lord God Almighty giving the devil the, the, the uh, opportunity to see where your heart is for Jesus. Is your heart into Jesus? Is your heart buried into him? Are you on this cross? Are you breaking up your cross every single day of your life? Are you following the word priest? step by precept are you growing from glory to glory well we're gonna see this now <clears throat> they refused to take off the king delicacy because they trusted in god and when they said this is what really it, it made my spirit man happy when when cora broke it down like this she said this she said she said it, it, it wasn't that they were eating 
natural food. All they requested were just fruits and water, vegetables and water. That's it. And and and, and the, 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 the king seven, the ignorant said to them, "You're gonna make them kill me." He said, "Well, they're not gonna kill you because we just can't eat off the table." Oh, that's a good word for somebody. You were not created a bill to eat off of everybody's table. What does that mean? You were not created a bill to be around everybody. Everybody was not meant to see your gifting. Everybody was not meant to, to understand you. Everybody was not meant. No, 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 no. There are times God is going to isolate and separate you. Why? Because he's taking you to your now place, your destined place. You see, when purpose and destiny connect, there is a fire that will collide. And in order for that fire to collide, oh my good God Almighty, you're going to have to be in your proper place, proper perspective they refused to eat off the king's table even though the food was good even though the food looks uh, delicious it looks fancified and everything else but they refused why because they know that the god that god almighty excuse me was going to fill them with 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 a spiritual food i'm not talking they were not speaking of a uh, 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 food in the natural they were speaking of we can eat off your table because we don't want our oil to drip off of us. We can eat off your table because that's gonna kill our anointing. We can eat off your table because it looks so good. So that's why we're gonna to have to follow you. No, 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 no. You're gonna to have to have discernment in this season and discernment upon discernment. And if you don't have discernment, you will crush. The same thing with Daniel. Daniel said, I'm not going to stop praying to my God and look at another man's idol and serve that idol because I'm afraid of death. Oh, so come hell and hot water. I'm just going to go straight into it like that. Come hell or hot water. You can take me out if you want to take me out, King. But I trust in God. How many of us trust in God this morning? How many of us trust in the Holy God? How many of us are leaning upon the solid rock? That foundation that was laid up for us. How many of us are depending on him? Oh! Many of us just call on the name of Jesus, but there's no power. There's no power. There's no power. And the only way you can survive this thing is that you have the power of the Holy Ghost resonating inside of you so that you can, you can stay strong and delivered. They carry the spiritual food in them. That's what the lions had to bow down. The lions had to become subject to the spirit of the living God inside of Daniel. The fire did not consume them because it was the son of God himself that was within the fire with them. So when they throw us, when they throw us out there into disaster, when they throw us out there into depression, when they throw us out there, they're throwing us into the hands of God because he's in it with you. If you believe it this morning, I want somebody to say amen. He's in it with you. You're not alone. You're not by yourself. Every time you go through trials and tribulation, Jesus is in it with you. Your faith, it, it depends on your faith. He's in every situation with you. He's in every trials with you. He's preparing every doors and opening doors and preparing every way for you to succeed in this life. Tell you to not give in. The three brothers went in the fire with fear, without fear or trembling. Because they knew that God was with them. How many of us have so much confidence in God that even when it comes to hot hot water and they said that the earth is falling down today, that you will not shake? Why? Because you know God got you in His hands. You won't be moved because you know that the Holy Ghost is covering you. You won't be deterred because you know that Jesus is with you. It don't matter how many friends you lost. Oh yes, in this season and time, you're going to lose all of them. Family members, all of them, they're going to turn on you. They're going to bite back you. They're going to say, all kinds of evil things against you but stand and be still to see the salvation of God glory hallelujah stand stand the Bible says after you've done all stand who told you that David, David went towards the Philistine that that Goliath because he felt like he had power he knew that his power was, was coming directly from God. That's why he said, For I will look up towards the hill from whence coming my help. My help comes from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. He was not looking up to self. You see, self will disappoint you. But when you trust in God, I don't care how long it takes. And they can, they can, they can, the doctors can tell you, you have this disease, or you will never bear children, or you will never do this. You tell the doctors in their face that 
That's what you say. That's not what my God says. My God says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens my inner being. <coughs> you got to be resilient. You got to be proactive. God is not looking for uh, 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 Christians that are so pacified in these days and time. We got to get you pacified. Get off the milk now. It's time for you to grow in him. David went in strength of the Lord, of God Almighty, that and faced that Goliath that was bigger than him, taller than him, stronger than him. But there's no power that's greater than, bigger than the power of God. There's no power that's bigger than, stronger than the power of Adonai. He's the God of gods. He's the Almighty God. He's know him. He's, he is the I am that I am. Ah, he is uh, the, uh, the Alpha and Omega. He is a mighty, mighty warrior. That's who he is. Uh -huh. And nobody can challenge him. Nobody can come against him because he is God. This morning, I want to leave this word with you. It's going to take sacrifice to truly see Everything that the enemy has stolen from you to be given back to you. When the Bible talks about, uh, 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 the, uh, when it talks about uh, 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 our warfare, our excuse me, when the Bible begins to decree and declare to us that so many things have been taken away from us, but this time we are taking it by force. It does not mean that you're going in the physical flesh. To take it by force. It means that I've decided to seek God. I've decided to serve my master. And no matter how, oh God Almighty, no matter how it happens, I trust and believe that He is with me. I trust and believe that Adonai is guiding me through. And so I'm going to go with all force and power like the soldier that I am. I'm going to trust in my Lord. I'm going to trust in my Lord. I'm going to tell somebody this morning, I'm going to have confidence in God. He's my father. He's my mother. He's my destiny keeper. He's my rock of ages. He is the I am that I am. He is, oh, glory, hallelujah, my promise keeper. Hallelujah. Tell somebody. He's my everything. So I don't need to fear. But it's going to take sacrifice on your part to see that everything that the devil has stolen from you God is restoring it back to you that's your next level that you're going to see every bits and pieces that have been missing back into your hands listen this morning I gotta go God bless you I hope this word really resonated with your heart like it did with my heart and it just sets, set a tone for my day and set a tone for every day in my life to be totally dependent upon God for everything that I want. But it's going to take sacrifice. It's going to take me being in obedience with the word of God. It's going to take me being in alignment with the word of God. It's going to take me being everything that God has called me to do. To be in strict obedience and reliance upon him. No other person but him. No other doctrine but his doctrine. But his, his, his word. God bless you this morning. I love you guys so much. This is Pastor Life. All the way from Providence, Rhode Island. Coming into your homes. Coming into your workplaces. Coming in wherever it is that this broadcast will be meeting you. God bless you and God strengthen you. May the power of God continue to dwell upon your lives. YouTube family, you guys know I love you so much. And I got a surprise coming for you guys very soon. Very, very soon it's coming. And also my Breath of Life church family. Your overseer loves you a lot. God bless you all. Thank you again. It's your humble servant, Pastor Mike. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Bye for now.